Starring Jan Clayton, Tommy Rettig, George Cleveland, with John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. take you home all wet like that. We weren't supposed to let you get in the water because you have a cold. I know, but let's go home. Listen, Timmy, you shouldn't complain about a little thing like getting wet. I used to fall in the water all the time, didn't I, Porky? You sure did, and so did I. But we never went home crying. Besides, if you go home now, Mom will call the doctor, make you stay in bed, and take medicine. If you want to hang around with us, you got to be tough like the Spartan boys that we learned about in school. They were so tough, you could cut their arm right off, and they wouldn't even cry. Come on, Timmy. If you stay in the sun for a while, your clothes will get dried off. You can watch Porky and I fish. Then I'll show you some more about casting. All right. That's a boy. Jack, those boys you were talking about. Boys? Oh, the Spartans. Yeah. What did they do when they got hurt or felt sick? Well, in those days, if they were wounded, they just crawled into a cave and stayed there until they got better. They did? Are you dry yet, Timmy? My sneakers are kind of wet. Maybe if we race on, that'll dry them off. Race? Okay. Get on your mark, get set, go. Hey, how about that? Timmy won. Oh, boy. Maybe he's dry, but I'm ringing wet. I feel hot, too. Dry from all that running, Timmy. I think he deserves a reward for being such a good Spartan, don't you, Porky? Sure do. How about letting him have the treehouse? Yeah, hey, that's okay with me. We never use it anymore. It's all yours, Timmy. Gee, thanks. Come on, Jeff. I'm going over to Porky's and clean these fish, Timmy. You'd better get in the house and change those clothes. I'll see you later. Okay. Come on. Come on, Lassie.
Jimmy. You shouldn't complain about a little thing like getting wet. If you want to hang around with us, you got to be tough like the Spartan boys that we learned about in school. They were so tough, you could cut their arm right off and they wouldn't even cry. If they were wounded, they'd just crawl into a cave and stay there until they got better. I can't find him any place. Well, that's strange. Are you sure he came home? Well, positive. I left him out the driveway when I went to Porky's to clean fish. Well, Gramps is looking for him in front of the house now. Jeff, did anything happen at the lake? Happen? Look at me. Now, Jeff, this is serious. It's getting late. Please, now, if anything happens... Well, maybe Lassie knows where he is. Do you know where Timmy is, girl? <coughs> Where's Timmy? Go find him, Lassie. Stevens and tell him to get here just as quickly as he can and have Grants bring me a blanket and a thermometer. Jeff, hurry. Oh, okay. Hello, Jenny. This is Jeff Miller. Can you get me Doc Stevens right away, please? Where is he? The halls? Can you ring him there, Jenny? It's an emergency. What? Out of order. No, never mind. Okay, thanks. Come on, Lassie. We've got to get to the halls before Doc Stevens leaves there. Just keep her in bed a day or two, Mr. Hall. She'll be all right. I'll do that. Thanks, Doc. So long. Bye.
you've got to come to our house right away. It's Timmy. He's sick. Oh, leave the bike there, Jeff. We'll pick it up later. Get in and call Lassie. Come on, Lassie. Get in here. Come on, girl. How's his temperature? 104.8. Up here, Doctor. Oh, you'd better tell Mom what I told you about today. I will, Jeff. Yeah. Thank heaven you're here. Have a look at it. Is there any change? Is it serious? No better by morning. I'll start him on the antibiotics right away. The thing is, I don't like to move him. He can't stay here. I don't know why not. It's a warm night, this place looks secure, and the weatherman says we won't have rain. Doctor, this is... I, uh, I hate the idea of taking him out of that warm sack. Is it possible for you to spell each other, to keep an eye on him? Well, of course. Good. I'll start the medication now, and then I'll tell you what to do. It's mostly a matter of waiting to see what develops. Can you hear what they're saying, Gramps? Tell you what happened? Yeah. All right. Timmy has pneumonia. We're leaving him up there. I left some capsules with Ellen. Timmy's to get one every four hours, even if you have to wake him to give it to him. I just gave him the first. And plenty of liquids. Take his temperature before he gets the medicine. It's very important that he stay in bed and protect him from any possibility of a chill. Understand? Will he be all right? Can't tell. If the fever doesn't break or... If it gets any higher, we may have to take him to the hospital. Now, uh, there are a couple of things Ellen needs. I'll get them. All right. I'll be by in the morning. Jeff, be as helpful as you can. Yes, sir. Wait here, girl. I'm sorry about what happened. Real sorry. I know. Go get your supper, dear. It's on the stove. You can fix it for Gramps and yourself. Well, what about you? No, I want to stay here with Timmy. I'm not hungry anyway, dear. Oh, Mom, let me stay up here, please. Jeff, no. Now, please, just do the things that I ask you, and that'll be help enough. Okay. Would you like to have Lassie up here to keep you company? Well, yes, honey. That would be nice. Get in, Lassie. Get in the box.
Come on, Lassie. One inside. doing here? Well, I had some sleep. I'm wide awake now. How's Timmy? Oh, about the same. You better go back to bed. I couldn't sleep anymore. Please, Mom, let me stay with him while you get some rest. Dad, we've been through all of that. Oh, I know, but I just have to do it. If I don't, I'll feel awful. All right, I'll, I'll just lie down for a couple of hours. Now, if there's any change, you send Lassie for me. I will. Thanks, Mom. I'll take very good care of her. Lie down, girl. Good girl, Lassie. I was thirsty. Never mind. Go on in there. You don't have to bring me anything like us a baby or something. All I wanted was... Close your mouth. Now, you have to keep it closed while I talk. Besides, I have a couple of things I want to tell you. So it looks as if Forky and I were pretty dumb, telling you what we did. Dr. Stevens explained it to me. He says there's a difference between bravery and just plain foolishness. Doctors have to know when something hurts you, otherwise they don't know what kind of medicine to give you. Do you understand? Hi, Mom. I was just taking Timmy's temperature. Well, then, suppose you see what it says. 
How about that? Just a little above normal. That's good, isn't it, Aunt Ellen? Oh, Timmy, it's just wonderful. Jeff. He's a pretty nice boy, isn't he, Timmy? I'll say he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want one too? Okay, you deserve it. 